Chrome OS 103 just recently rolled out and there are three new features that are kind of big features that have arrived with this update. So we want to talk about those and then there's one that's a coming soon type of feature that we can show you how to turn on that we'll also talk about as well. Let's get into it. But before we get into that, this video is sponsored by Logitech, who we've partnered with for our biggest giveaway yet. We're giving one lucky educator or school faculty 30 Logitech Chrome packs to outfit an entire classroom with the best tools to enhance students' Chromebook experiences. Look, we know that with the ever-growing and evolving tech landscape, it can be overwhelming for educators these days, but Logitech has your back. These Chrome packs include the ideal set of solutions to attach to your students' Chromebooks to help drive their success, all in an awesome, kit approved backpack. This giveaway is open to all currently employed K through 12 school or district level faculty, IT staff, and leadership, and it ends July 31st. So if you're eligible, make sure to check the link in the description so you can get entered to win. And again, a big shout out to Logitech for making all of this possible. So the first new feature we're going to talk about, we've actually made an entire video of, and it is screencast. And honestly, this feature is so cool. It deserved its own video. It still does. Uh, we will link that in the description so that you can go check it out. But I did want to mention the fact that without flags or without any additional settings, you can see as I jump in here and just search screencast, the app shows up and your basic UI is there. So it's got your saved screen recordings uh, from previous, um, previous efforts with this. Uh, you can start a new screencast there at the top. And basically what this feature does is allow you to not just record your screen, but also like annotate it with like drawings and all that kind of stuff while you're doing it. You have a pop-up camera from your front facing camera down in the corner as well. So if you're trying to kind of create a presentation, you can do that here. And then once it's all done, all of this stuff saves uh, to the cloud. So it's all in your Google account. And once you go there and Google's had enough time to kind of parse down the info, it gives you a transcription of everything you've said so people can just jump to certain spots in the video. It's it's a very powerful collaboration teaching type of tool. Uh, it's only available on Chromebooks right now. And so uh, it's a really cool tool. I can't turn it on right now or else it's going to kill my screen recording. So I don't want to do that. And again, we've made an entire video about this feature. Again, it is linked in the description and I would highly recommend if you're interested in this to go check that out when this video is finished. But we wanted to highlight as one of the big features with Chrome OS 101 three screencast is here it's available it's ready to use so next up we want to talk about a feature that we've been tracking for a long time that has finally arrived and it's called photo sharing it's part of the phone hub uh, so if we go down here to our phone hub you can see it says set up right there additionally if for some reason you're going to set this up and that toast doesn't show up if you go into your settings here uh, under connected devices uh, down here under recent photos, there's another setup button there too. They will get you to the exact same spot. So it's no big deal whichever way you do that, but it's gonna ask you to set this stuff up. This is obviously assuming that you already have your phone set up with phone hub. So you need to do that process before you do this, obviously. Uh, it's, it's bundled in phone hub, but I'm gonna go ahead and click next. And we're gonna actually do this on the fly here. So uh, I'm gonna open my phone up and see, um, and there's just a little toast notification that shows up on my phone. Um, and let's see, Robbie, I want to pick the right email account. And then, yep, there's a toggle there. All right, so after just a few seconds, you'll see on your phone a uh, allow access to this Chromebook. And once you hit OK there, on the screen now we have uh, that the phone and Chrome base, and we're filming this on a Chrome base, uh, are connected, hit done, and we should be good to go. So what I'm going to do as a test here, I got a Rubik's Cube right here in front of me. I'll take a photo of it, and I'm gonna go to my phone hub, and you can see right down there, recent photos. If I click it, it jumps down in here my, into my tote, and then from there I can drag it, I'll just drag it into uh, tab here so you can see boom there's the photo I just took immediately showed up and just to show you that we're not setting anything up here I'm gonna take a photo of my photo on the Chromebook and again you can look in the phone hub and give it just a second to sync um, well there it goes I'm gonna click it again it's downloaded now, I'll drag it in, and boom, there's the photo of my photo. You can see how quick that works. I've already found this to be really, really productive for especially like social media and stuff like that. Uh, even in chat apps, it's really cool if you need to quickly take a photo of something and just get it here uh, and onto your Chromebook and shared. 
it's very, very handy. And uh, what I did find too, is if you edit a photo, uh, say, say I took a photo and I wanted to go into Google Photos and edit it, you know, and add the, the auto filters and all that kind of stuff. As soon as you edit that, that edited photo becomes the next one in your reel, uh, in your in your photos down in your phone hub. And so I can actually edit the photo down real quick on my phone, see it on my Chromebook and share the edited photo immediately without having to take any additional steps. It's super duper handy. This is a really cool feature. I'm glad to see Google has rolled it out. Okay, so the third feature we wanna show you that is actually a kind of a phone Chromebook type of thing as well, is the ability to use nearby share to share Wi-Fi. So on the Chrome base here, I forgot one of our local Wi-Fi uh, connections. And so if I go in here, you don't see any other connections to choose from. Uh, but this co-working one down here is one that we've used before. If I click in here, it's gonna ask me for the password. So imagine you're in this scenario and somebody else opens a Chromebook and they're at your house or you're at a coffee shop together or wherever. You've got the safe password, they don't. Um, now I can use Nearby Share to actually push that Wi-Fi password over to the Chromebook. So what I'm gonna do is pull up uh, on my phone here the actual co-working connection. I'm gonna click the share button. And once I do that, there's an option at the bottom to click nearby share. And then my Chromebook lights up and says, hey, somebody's trying to share something to you. I'm gonna hit set up because I haven't told this thing I want to do that. Uh, sure, great. All right, and so we, show, we see the Chrome base right there. I'm gonna click it and give this just a second. And what's gonna happen is I'm gonna get a toast on the Chromebook, there it is, uh, saying I wanna accept this connection to co-working, which is the other Wi-Fi that we have up here in the building. And just like that, I'm gonna open in Wi-Fi networks and co-working. I can just click connect now. And boom, we're connected. Just that simple. It's a little bitty feature, but I could see this if you're working in groups and you're out and about working in different locations, coming in super handy because now instead of having to show you a code or look it up or find the password or whatever, I can just nearby share, boom, your Chromebook's online right alongside mine. Okay, so the final feature we wanna talk about doesn't have anything to do with your phone necessarily, but it will kind of connect to your phone eventually. Right now, it's it's still not quite rolled out technically, and it may be the next version of, of Chrome OS before we actually see it, but they did announce it, Google did, uh, when, they, when they put out their post about 103. But this one does require a flag. So we're gonna go to Chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags. And when that pops up, I'm just gonna search fast pair. And we've talked about fast pair in the, in, in the past. Um, it is basically this way, your Android phone will do it already. If you open up something that's fast pair compliant, basically your phone Im immediately turns on and realizes there's something to be connected and it, it kind of fast tracks that entire connection process. It's really nice. But what they've added now is the ability for something like the Pixel Buds A series here and the upcoming Pixel Buds Pro. They've allowed this uh, ability, uh, like kind of like what you see in Apple devices. So this gets paired to my account. And so any device I open up with that account in there um, will be able to pair up to these without having to go through a pairing process. It's just like, hey, do you want to pair to these? Cool, click the button and they just get connected up. And so they're working on that for Chromebooks. I'm gonna enable fast pair. I'm gonna go ahead and enable low power, save devices, even though I'm not sure that that's actually going to work. Software scanning's fine um, and subsequent pairing. So these are all five flags that are around this uh, fast pair. And obviously these will these flags won't be necessary once they actually roll this out, but uh, we'll run a restart real quick on this. I wanted to just show you those flags so that you could see them. Uh, we'll run a restart on this really quickly and then I'll show you how fast pair kind of works on a Chromebook at this point. Okay, we've restarted. We have fast pair technically turned on and ready to go. So ideally, uh, what would happen here is as soon as I open these up, they should send out a signal to the Chromebook. Now, I don't know if it's going to, I, I took them off of my phone so that hopefully they would be ready to pair. But it looks like they're trying to already connect to something. So I'm gonna at least put them in pairing mode to give us a chance here. And what should happen is instead of having to go in, there it is right there. Instead of going to Bluetooth devices, you get a toast and it actually has a picture of these right there on the screen connect to these yes i'm gonna go ahead and connect and i'm curious to see at this point if the chromebook actually says uh these are connected to your account it doesn't say that um it does not and so i'm curious to see if we have them as available on my phone let's see forget those 
So we're going to close those up. And I'm going to open them and just see what it does, if it does anything on my phone or not. I'm guessing right now it's not. Um, I am getting a nice toast on the screen, which is really cool uh, that things are connected or disconnected. Um, and they connect right up to my Chromebook as soon as I open it back up, as you would expect. Let's see, Pixelbit Ace here is up here. So this is popping the same notification up on my phone again as if it needs to reconnect. So that tells me that for right now, fast pairing on the Chromebook is not actually linking this to my account and sending it over to my phone yet. Uh, it's also not receiving that because before this, I didn't forget it on my phone. So what should have popped up once this works the way it's supposed to is a toast saying, hey, you've connected these to another thing on your account before. Do you want to connect these now? Go ahead, yes, let's connect them up. So eventually this is all going to work out, but you can turn on the basic parts of FastPair and at least get connected to FastPair compliant devices much quicker right now. Again, this is not technically rolled out and not part of our, our three features here. This was the little extra on the side, uh, but it is a cool feature if you want to connect up some stuff that works with FastPair on your Chromebook. But that's it for this one. That's three new features plus one for Chrome OS 103. We hope you like this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up, head down there, hit the subscribe button, and be sure to ring the notification icon as well if you'd like to be alerted when we make future videos just like this one. Until next time, we'll see you.